Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to Sensi Saturday. And today we are talking about villain, uh, the Disney villains, dark and devious, and Disney's season of magic. So we'll start there. And this one was chosen by Kara N. So thank you, Kara. And I do have the scent notes. I've started putting them all on the lids here. Sugar crystals, frosty icicles, sweet pine, and wild berries. All in my wheelhouse. I love Christmas scents and the pine. I love pine and berry scents together. Um, so, and I did get, I will say the pine was the predominant note and some kind of like iciness, almost like a eucalyptus. This, like the, the frosty icicles, I was getting kind of a eucalyptus note. Not a lot of wild berries. I wouldn't have minded to get more of the berry note, a little bit of the sugar crystals, but I would say it was primarily pine and kind of like a, maybe the um, eucalyptus is what I'm interpreting as the frosty icicle. So all in all, I did like it, although I wish it was more berries. Now, so scent appeal, I would say eight out of 10. What we have to talk about is this, the strength and throw. I was very surprised that this did not throw well here in my house. It's not a big house at all. In my living, dining, kitchen area, I have two full-size warmers. And um, I honestly have to say that the strength and throw was a five out of 10. Like I really had to stop and concentrate on, you know, get my sniffer going. It's like, am I smelling anything? Yeah, I guess I am a little bit, but it wasn't really blow me out of the house. It wasn't really in my face. It was really light and I was kind of surprised by that. So I'm not sure what everybody else's experience is with this one, but I thought it was a little light and it was a little disappointing actually. But anyhow, what, what are you going to do? Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is uh, Villains Dark and Devious. And this was chosen by Regina Ross. So thank you, Regina. And scent notes here are black pepper, star anise, cinnamon, smoke, absinthe and ancient hemlock and I meant to look up what absinthe is and I forgot uh, but I will say this um, it's very you definitely get the pepper and the star anise it's very um, it's very warm it's very deep it's very I don't know if sultry in this case is the right word um, Peppery, spicy, not cin I hardly got cinnamon at all. What does it say? There is cinnamon in here, but I would say it's the pepper and the star anise that are giving it kind of the warm, deep, spicy notes. This one uh, was eight or nine out of 10 for strength and throw. Really, really strong. No trouble smelling it at all. When I took this out, I wanted to kind of clear up the air with coastal strawberry. And it really was still kind of lingering in the house, even with the coastal strawberry going. So just be aware of that. But anyway, I do like it. Um, the pepper note is kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. It's, um, it's kind of deep and spicy, but not like in a cinnamon spice, not, not in a, like a fall spice way, a very different spice way. But so I really like this. I've had this before. Um, Ancient hemlock, I can't really tell you what that is either, but I will say I definitely smelled the um, ab the um, star anise and the pepper. So scent appeal, seven out of 10, strength and throw, eight to nine out of 10. Super, super strong. So um, that one was the thumbs up. This one, eh, maybe not a thumbs up. Okay, next week, our choices are going to be, and if you're new to my channel, I'm going to put up four cents. The first two people to respond, that will be the wax I will melt and review next week. So, and usually the choices are made pretty quickly. So if you're coming back in a couple of days, just look in the comments because chances are um, the two cents have been chosen already. Okay, so next week we're going to pick from Frozen 2, Fearless by Nature. Um, Lemon Verbena, World Traveler, and oh, one of my favorites, Oats and Honey. So the first two people to respond down below, that will be the wax I will melt and review next Saturday. I hope everybody's enjoying your weekend. Stay safe and I will see you soon. Bye.